Hey y'all, today I want to bring you a Goodwill haul. So I went to a Goodwill in a town nearby. It's a little bit more of a higher end town, let's call it. And so the prices are a little higher there, but um, I found some really good stuff. So I want to share that with you. Let's dive in. So first thing was this hat. It is by McIntyre uh, Saddlery. It is sold at National Roper Supply here. Um, I'm sure it's sold online as well, but it's a tooled leather. This is personal use, obviously. It was one of their bins items, so it was like $2.79. Can't beat that. It's like $30 in the store. So find a lot of Western wear. I live in Texas, so there you go. Next up, I found Fira Wang Lavender. These are some gorgeous, they are solid they're not foam these are black leather and this is like a wood pedal with some crystal thong flip-flop sandals they've got a little bit of a heel to them now I can't find a size but I tried them on I'm gonna eight and a half and they're a little bit big on me so I'm gonna say they're a nine leather upper leather lining great shape the leather is immaculate. There's no foot funk. I mean, they have been worn, but that's okay. So shoes there are um, $8.99. Shoes are $9. Used shoes at Goodwill are $9. But that's okay. These are good. Um, I honestly haven't comped them yet. Um, the Vera Wang Lavender is a diffusion, but it's one of the better diffusions that she has. So I figured with spring and summer, these will do great because they're casual. They can go to a wedding. They can do anything. So shoes, most mildly pair of shoes. I have a killer bag. Um, wait till the end. It's some vintage designer. You want to hang around. Trust me. All right. Next step. I saw these and I was like, hmm, these are just kind of odd. So these were $12.99, which is kind of a lot for Spanx. Okay, so I don't usually pay that for Spanx, especially a size medium. There's Spanx, single likely medium. Um, these looked new. So they have this neat kind of dot, or I guess square gradient to them on one side. They're kind of a um, lighter weight. I don't want to say seamless because they do there's no front seam though it's this slanted seam that goes around it doesn't cut through the middle there is a seam in the back though so I don't want to necessarily call them seamless and I don't know the exact name but they look like a 7 8 length and they are in a medium I just thought these were really unique and they'll probably fit me if I can't find them, but <laughs> um, I think they will do well. I think people are going to get outdoors. They're going to get to running, working out, uh, hiking, being outside. And these have great, um, they have this, this gray mesh. It's kind of rubberized a little. I, don't, I wouldn't say rubber, but um, or silicone, that non-slip to keep them in place. So I think that that's what people are going to be looking for. Next up. This one kind of surprised me. Um, dresses, $8.99. They like that number there for some reason. <laughs> so $8.99. This is Miss Eileen Fisher, size medium, black velvet. Now, I know velvet's a winter holiday type material, but I love velvet, and it's Eileen. So Eileen sits. She don't move fast for me, but meh. I figured a dress might give it more selling points than just a top. So, um, gorgeous black velvet. I definitely say that it's oversized. I am usually like a medium large, and this is, I, I would venture to even say could fit an extra large, but black velvet v-neck has these large sleeves. That's the sleeve there. <laughs> so very roomy um small slit at the bottom so you can move in it but i think it is a great lbd use that in your description um can always look for one that's 
The little black dress is always in. It's timeless, it's classic, so can't go wrong with that. Next up, this brand I actually come across pretty often here. Um, it's made in Texas, so there you go. <laughs> this is from Double D Ranch. Out of Yoakum, Texas, this is a size large. It still has the original. I just took off the Goodwill one, but this is the original hang tag. Um, little barb there. I do the button in the back. Um, let me know if you found this brand, what you've sold from them. I find all kinds of pieces here. So this is a gorgeous. It is a embroidered top and neckline. Kind of that crinkly gauze dress. Isn't that pretty? Perfect for the season, perfect for summer, spring. I could see this out at a picnic or a barbecue. Don't get barbecue sauce on this. <laughs> but isn't that embroidery just gorgeous? Their items usually are heavily embroidered and it's like a chunky hand embroidery a lot of the time. So keep an eye out. Um, the boutique brand Umji oftentimes tries to imitate. Um, so just beware, don't just blindly grab something, but um, check them out when you do see something like this. For sure. So dress, $9. Um, I'm hoping to get 40 to 50 out of that, maybe? We'll see. Their stuff has kind of slowed down a little bit just because uh, more of it's getting out there. So people are discovering it more and more, but... That's probably driving some of you nuts, me pulling the tags, but it's not from the fabric. It's from the actual, the tag was, the Goodwill tag was through the garment tag. So don't get mad at me, y'all. Don't get mad at me. I do have scissors for when it's through the fabric. Don't worry. Um, this, long cardigan. This, I think they thought it was a dress, so they marked it at $8.99, but I wasn't going to argue. This is Wrap London. Wrap London is amazing, amazing brand. So it's not super, super high end. It's kind of like an Eileen Fisher, one of those that's um, more environmentally friendly, that kind of thing. Um, they are, I believe, UK based, but um, this, let me find the size. Gorgeous long line cardigan, US size 10. It is a cotton linen blend, Wrap London, so yes. Hello, makes sense. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this color. This beautiful, um, I don't want to say royal blue, but it's almost a, uh, gosh, I can't even describe it. <laughs> it is gorgeous. It has these um, snaps on the sleeve here. Why can't I talk? Snaps on the sleeve. Got pockets. And then it's got more snaps down the side. Isn't that cool? It's got this detail down the middle in the back. And that same detail is down the um, shoulder, back shoulder. So, yeah. If you've never looked up, researched Wrap London, look it up. I'm hoping for 40 to 50 on this cardigan. So, Love it. And that cotton linen blend is great for spring and summer. So again, it's a cardigan, but it's the right kind of cardigan. So the more you do this, the more you learn those things, the more you will figure out the material content is important. Um, yes, I would pick up a cashmere sweater this time of year. I just did the other day, but those are the things that I am prioritizing is a cardigan like that. So if you stumble across those others, don't pass them up, but this should be what you're out searching for. Those other things just find you. If you're like me, they just find me. <laughs> so, uh, next step, three handbags. We're gonna end with three handbags. This is a little quickie haul here. Um, there's one, you just you stick around, I'm telling you. I was floored when I found it. So, we'll start out with this one. She is colorful. So this is Kavu, I think is how you say it. This has flamingos and palm trees. It's got pink flamingos, blue flamingos. This is that classic rope sling bag. 
Um, I've seen with, I think, four or five ropes across. This one only has three, so I think this is a smaller version, possibly an older version. It does say one of a kind right here, so I don't know if this is like a special edition or what. Um, it does in embroidery have their um, name right here, K-A-V-U right here. Super clean. These are so versatile. These are amazing for like Walt Disney <laughs> or like trip to the beach because you could just toss it on and go and your hands are free to do whatever you got to do. Um, so I'm a big fan, big fan of these. So these are usually anywhere 30 to 40. So handbags there, I think we're, let me look, mm, $5.99. So handbags, purses, that kind of thing, $5.99 unless they're little bitty like a wallet or a wristlet then I think they charge them as a bin item at $2.79 so I'll take it um great brand I know it'll sell so I didn't mind paying six bucks for it this one so this one I didn't know what this was but I knew it's heavy it's quality it's real leather that is a big giveaway so this day was when AT&T cell service was not working. So I was flying blind this day. <laughs> I had to go on my reseller gut and intuition. And I think it paid off. So this is by Isabella Fiori. So Isabella Fiori, I guess, is known for doing these carpet bag style bags. Get a little closer so you can see her in all her glory there. Um, so, I don't know. I just, I I knew this felt good. It's in good condition. Um, relatively clean and stuff. No, you can't see that. And these neat flower details. I was like, oh, that's just so cute. So, brought it home, looked it up. It's going to be a great sale. So, um, yeah. I looked up the name of the bag. I just can't remember. But remember this brand. If you see it out and about, Isabella Fiore, this like carpet bag style bag, like good money. So grand finale. If you are still here, be sure to subscribe because I've been finding some awesome stuff lately. I have two trips to the bins I still have to film. So those will be coming up for March. I'm so excited. Good stuff. So, subscribe. Let's get to it. Okay. This does this just looks unassuming from the outside. Very unassuming. Some shorty short girl tied her up in a couple knots there, so it'd be a little shorter. And so <laughs> I saw the um, YKK on the zipper. That's always a good sign. I saw the leather. I felt it. You, I, I feel a lot of things now. I'm never one to go through a store with gloves on because I like to feel. You can feel if it's real leather, if it's suede, if it's faux, I mean, if it's sticky patent. I mean, you gotta be able to feel. That's how I feel at a lot of cashmere is just by the feel. So this is none other. This is my first time finding this out in the wild. So proud, so proud. I about squeaked in excitement. <laughs> Goodwill. This is Bottega Veneta, made in Italy. This is a vintage bag. So, it has this vinyl lining, I believe. It's like a vinylish leather. It's not even cloth. <laughs> it is definitely high end. So, um, this is just such a beautiful bag. It has... This is the bottom, isn't that neat, the detailing? Um, it does have, I mean, some minor wear. She needs cleaned up just a little bit. Good. It's cloudy here today. My lighting always is horrible, I apologize. I try. <laughs> I just have to show y'all what I got. So there is a spot, you know, there that's gonna need cleaned, but it's on the bottom, so it's not great, great big deal, but isn't it gorgeous? So some of these bags, um, there's different styles of this woven 
neutral color. Um, some of these bags are in the $300 range, so I'm kind of thinking to list in that neighborhood if I don't keep them. But <laughs> I'm thinking to list her in the $300 neighborhood, so I'm excited about that. I can't believe I found Bottega Veneta out in the wild. I wish I could happen every time I thrift. So we'll see you soon with those bins hauls. Subscribe so you can uh, get notified when I post a new one and we'll see you soon. Bye y'all.